Hello and welcome to the Boston Structural Heart course. As you know that our course concluded on August 13th, that is about two weeks ago, and we are very proud that it was a smashing success by any standards. On behalf of my course directors, Dr. Bose, Dr. Mahbubi, and Dr. Sharkey, I thank you all for supporting this educational activity wholeheartedly. These comments are entirely based on the feedback we received from the audience during and after the activity, as well as our own personal experience with the smooth flow and impeccable audiovisual support that we received during this course. Our entire team, Taha, Adnan, and Ryan worked tirelessly to make this worthwhile experience for our participants during and after the course. Based on the live interactions with the audience and insightful remarks and questions, it was heartening to know that we addressed a long-standing and a genuine knowledge gap and provided legitimate uh, uh, updates on a new and emerging technology. Participants appreciated the innovative pedagogical approach, live sessions as well as panel discussions amongst the experts. Whereas this is all very encouraging, we still want to improve the course and always meet and sometimes exceed your expectations. There were presentations that obviously could be improved, topics that could be added, and some that could be removed in the future courses, and the content retooled. In all fairness, I must confess that whereas we promised the learn today and do it tomorrow approach, there was a bit of esoterica in the course. Some presentations were not based on learn today and do it tomorrow. All these changes are on the table for the next course, and we are closely reviewing the feedback. We will be presenting the next edition of the course in a few months and have already started working on the program and the content development. Notably, here are the few changes. We will be expanding the panel discussions to a great extent with more experts and presenting cases with expert input and of course improved audiovisuals and interactions of experts with the audience in a live fashion. We will also be presenting a review of ultrasound systems without any commercial bias or sales pitch with tips and tricks for optimal imaging for each specific system in difficult imaging situations. Most importantly, and the one that I'm most proud of, we will be further expanding the 3D imaging workshop and call it the Masterclass in 3D Imaging. Besides the existing content, this class will also include panel discussions, case presentations of difficult imaging scenarios and relevance through the didactics to practical clinical situations. We also plan to bring world-class echocardiographers to share their experiences with machine settings and optimal imaging conditions for patient and clinical situations. Last but not the least, the participants of this class in the future will be getting a printed three-dimensional primer that's a printed manual as a study material for review after the completion of the course, which we did not obviously provide this year. This will include all the graphics and all the instruction that was presented in the live format. We continue to look forward and value your feedback and input for further improvement of our course. We'll stay in touch with your frequent updates on the Masterclass in 3D Imaging. Please stay tuned. And of course, we will stick this time to our aim that we provided for our first course. That is, it is so practical that you learn it today and you should be able to do it tomorrow in your operating room. Goodbye, good luck, and stay tuned.